Hello and welcome. How are we all doing today? Uh, this is Nate. And boy, do I got a good one for you today. I got this 1,650 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home that can also be had with a second floor. This one obviously doesn't have it, but you can get this in with a second floor, adding roughly a thousand more square feet to your home. This one has uh, lots of large rooms, great big closets in all your rooms. And uh, so you guys might be asking, well, okay, so the home sounds really good. Where can I find this lovely home? Well, I am here at Homes by Vanderbilt. I'd like to say thank you for letting me come film your homes. So we come around to the back here. Not a lot to show on the back. So these guys are located in Sanford, North Carolina. We got our back door right there. Really like these foundation options that they have. These are all modulars. They got some really nice foundation options that I've seen throughout the homes. This being one of them. Now, if you had this home set up on your own home, you would have that brick going all the way around, not just the brick pillars there. So let's head on in. First, we got to start with this really nice front porch. Now, if you get it with the second one, the porch is a little bit different. I might have it in the, uh, when I go in, I'll maybe have, find a picture for you with the second floor to show you. So, really nice front porch. like the size of it. Nice and wide. You could easily come out here and have a barbecue, that kind of stuff. So as we come in, you can clearly see this is an open floor plan. So you do see your kitchen right off there. Dining room is over there. But let's start with the ceiling here. I mean, look at the way this ceiling looks. Really nice ceiling in here. All recessed lighting. Great big crown molding all the way around. Big windows. We haven't even got to the entertainment center over there. What they want to point out, these are modulars and they use the LVP flooring so you can clearly see there's no seam across the marriage line there. All right, let's take a look at your entertainment center here. Now it does have underneath there, you can see the little black hole there. That's where you run your cables down into that area. Really like the accent lighting they put up there. Really nice stonework too. That looks like it's marble turned on its side. So I'm sure this probably isn't going to be the first video that I put up. 
So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of their, think of their homes that I've put up so far? Nice size dining room here. And that is your utility room on the back side. You do have recessed lighting above your dining room table here. So since we're here, let's come take a look at the utility room. So this one's just a basic utility room. You got your washer and dryer hookups there. Which serves that back door, your furnace, or furnace, your electrical box. Got a shelf above your washer and dryer there. And on this side, we had a coat closet. Now mind you, there's a vent that takes up space in the coat closet, but you do have a coat closet there. And yes, on this side, we do have what will be your pantry for your kitchen area. So speaking of the kitchen, we might as well go into the kitchen now. And you got this really big island. Electrical outlets on each end. Nice gray colored cabinets. Those are adjustable shelves. Soft clothes. And I really like these darker colored sinks too. It just really kind of stands out too from this counter. Or island top I should say. Of course, we got the sprayer faucet. Couple cabinets on each end, plenty of seating for four. Now these are the, the uh, I guess they call it gunmetal or dark stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. They look really good in here. And you've got drawers above all your doors with a nice stack of drawers right next to your stove. Your microwave is above your stove. And they even continued with the crown molding in your kitchen. So that one goes way back in there. The rest of them have adjustable shelves. And then you've got this smaller area that you can use as a, or you should, shouldn't say smaller, but you've got this area here that you can use as a smaller pantry. All right, so if we can try to keep this from being too long, we better get to the bedrooms. So in bedroom number one. To give you an idea of the size of the bedroom, that is a full size mattress, which is one step down from a queen. And you can see you have plenty of space in here. And as I was stating, you have really nice size walk-in closets in both your bedrooms. Now this one is taken up a little bit because you do have your water heater right there. But as we come into bedroom number two, I think this one is just slightly larger. You got your attic access. Now the closet here, as you can see, has a little more space in it because you don't have the water heater taking up space. Now 
And as for your guest bathroom, a little bit of counter space here, good size cabinet down below. You got the one piece shower tub combo and it looks like they've used the same tub in just about all their homes. It's basically like a soaker tub in your guest bathroom. As you can see, narrow at the faucet end, wide at the other end. Right now, so picking up where we left off, we gotta come down here to your master bedroom. Had to take a quick break, so had a couple customers walk in. So in your master bedroom, you can see we've got the queen size bed in here to give you an idea of space wise, what it would take up. I do like the size of the bedroom. Now this isn't one of their larger bedrooms. Some of their homes have got some really large master bedrooms. But this one is very well sized. As you can see, you have plenty of room for a large nightstand. And in your closet, we've got of course the wire racks, but you can always option in the wooden racks, but lots of space in here. You got the shoe rack down below. And in our bathroom here, hello Raiden, we've got the dual sinks. Nice stack of drawers, nice tall cabinets down below. Really nice light fixtures in here. And got your toilet area back here behind the door. And then as we swing around this way, we've got this great big marble tile shower with some really nice glass inlay. handle there and you got the handle over there you got the wand shower plus your rain head shower two overhead recessed lights now there is no bench in this one I'm sure that's easily optioned in and with that I think you all should option yourselves down into the comment box and let me know, what do you think? What features did you like about the home? Anything you think you would like to have differently? I mean, there's lots of options. You could easily change the cover or the cabinet colors. Get different light fixtures if you wanted to. There's so many things you could option in in these homes. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure that it's gray, not red. Turn on the notifications, that way you get notified when I upload videos three times a week. Oh, welcome back. Yes, I know. You can tell it's a different day. I got a haircut. <laughs> I was trying to get it cut before I came down here. And uh, the people that I normally go to get my haircut were on vacation. So I wasn't able to get my haircut. So, <laughs> since I was done filming yesterday, I went and got my haircut. So anyway, enough about me. This is all about the home. I know you want some price information, so we're going to get into that here. But before we do that, remember this home is at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. They only service the North Carolina area. Now with that, there could be extra city and county fees depending on where you have this home set up and delivered. Prices vary over time, so it could go up, it could go down. But wanted to give you a basic price for this home, starting at... $195,000 for this home is the base price. As shown, this home comes in at $246,000. So really nice price for this home. 
Hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.